Kickstarter! Kickstarter! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the hits keep on coming in Kickstarter land. There are uh, some somehow, pretty big ones. Yeah, I don't know how there are still giant Kickstarters left that are coming out, but there are. They keep digging them up. So the first one we're going to bring you is the Sentinels of the Multiverse Oblivion. <laughs> yes. Now, this is the final, supposedly. Final Sentinels of the Multiverse. Supposedly. Supposedly. You know, we always have to say, it's sort of like when someone dies in a comic book. They're dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, so as you said, this is the last one. What's kind of cool about this, there's a few things, is the characters, the new characters in this are sort of bringing back old characters in new ways. So if you're into the lore of Sentinels, there's, like, villains that are now uh, reformed to take on this big, bad evil. There's some alternate timeline versions. Well, do you know the actual story behind this? I know. This Oblivion is basically the Galactus or the, like, dark yeah, side. Yeah, pretty of... much <laughs> what's happening is Oblivion is... Oblivion. Oblivion, sorry. Please. <laughs> is his Respect goal Respect the stupid is pun. to, in essence, end all timelines, end the entire multiverse, everything... Right. The so he be, so it becomes him or something. <laughs> Sentinels of the. So he, he's been it. messing around with many timelines and multiverses. Of course, one timeline has has forwarded everything he has thrown at it. <laughs> so he's a little angry. <laughs> so here's he's here to end it once for all. Yeah, and, and you can also get uh, with this they have the, a giant box that will hold all the. No, Sentinel that's games. to me that's my the thing I'm most excited about. That's pretty nice. Plus the, all the old promos that they used to will come in a pack. Have one pack for those, so that's but pretty good for. Another collectors. big thing is there is an exclusive box. This is Kickstarter and Gen Con only. This is the only time this will appear. I think I know your time, but I forget. It's every hero. Every hero they ever had, holographic. Oh, right, the holograph ones. In a, yeah. in a box. Now, so, is that like... apparently a lot of people are really asking that's for That's just their cards, or the whole decks are holographic? I think it might be the whole decks, because it says crazy. every hero. So if you get every hero, you, I, I mean, I don't know. To me, to be honest, I'm not interested in that one. I'm more interested in the box that holds everything. Like, yeah. I... That's what I want to get because I mean, and I know this is a game that we've both said like we would need to get more stuff for. Yeah, like, it's we, one that definitely encourages expansions and extra stuff, and they have plenty of them. Yeah, uh, and that's why I love the whole box fit, and the box is also really nice. It's not just yeah, the, it looked pretty cool. It looked pretty good, and it fits. I'm sure it's you can sleeve them, and I'm sure they plan for all that stuff. Yeah, so the box though is going to be sold after the Kickstarter. Do you know? I, as far as when I looked at the Kickstarter, I hope as far so. as I can tell. Only, yeah, no, I hope so too because <laughs> I, I would have backed it just for the box. But yeah. you can, every click circle comes with oblivion, right? Oblivion. And we only have the base. So I'm like, we can't jump there yet. We're not there. <laughs> We're not ready. But <laughs> the box itself, from what I can tell, only the holographic ones are the exclusive, which makes sense because it's not like you don't need that. Yes, you don't need that. But the box, I definitely think, and they, I'm almost certain they would because it's just so it's just nice. And I'm pretty sure the pack that comes with all the promos is not exclusive either. Oh, really? I did not see them say that was exclusive. I, think, I feel free to correct. I think almost all, if not all of them, are just alternate artwork. I don't know if there's any like crazy ones that I could be wrong. But anyway, but I think it's even so. It's nice to have the yeah, pack yeah, yeah. to given because I know we have plenty of packs of their stuff. Hanging on our in our store, <laughs> so I wouldn't right. be surprised if they sell it regularly. Uh, that is, especially for... since this is the end. Like if it wasn't the end, <laughs> yeah, <or> end. <laughs> right, this is their last chance, right? Supposedly, but there's plenty. Of, like we said, every back level pretty much comes with a Bolivian, or uh, however you say it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep messing it up, but like whatever combination you want. I know one is literally everything. Oh, every single thing they ever yeah, made. Every single thing they ever made. <laughs> I think for about either four hundred or five hundred. <laughs> Uh, that the just the game itself goes for thirty nine dollars, and you can check out the other tiers there if you want. That's from Greater Than Games. If you didn't know, uh, next another big expansion to a big game, Evolution Climate. Yes, this one's a little weird. I got very confused about it because well, there's it, the yeah. standalone game, <laughs> yeah, the conversion kit. <laughs> So I'm like, wait, is this an expansion or not? And then, and then isn't then there's one where it's the evolution, the base, and climate together, or you can just get climate, or you can get the. The way it works apparently <laughs> is evolution is almost a reskin of uh, climate is a reskin of evolution. 
Okay. But if you already have evolution, then you just need the conversion kit. Wasn't didn't flight also when flight came out? They also came with cards well, to fix. Well, that the was extra. Game. That was different. That was more like uh, we made a bunch of mistakes, and that so the second edition will have it fixed. But in the I'm a little like the second time they now they're redoing it. Like, well, no, the reason for how this, many times you're gonna fix no, this game? This one isn't fixing. Okay. This one is because I actually read the, the okay. changes are because are for flavor. And so in climate, okay. I'll explain. Let me explain what climate works, and I'll explain why. If you haven't guessed, climate is about climate. <laughs> what? <laughs> so pretty much things can get cold, can get hot. This will affect the food sources, and you of course have to adapt to that. So like they have new cards like fur coat, you know, easier to fight the cold. Shed off. fur coat. <laughs> but um, some other cards in the old set would make sense for it to being able to adapt to certain environments, but it's not on the cards. So, like, now burrowing, for example, helped you when it's hot. They put on there, so you, you don't... Hmm, okay. So it's more of, like, so you don't think, okay. why is this not... Or, like, like the fat one is <laughs> yeah. going to help. Fatty tissue. Yeah. Uh, this has already passed so many of its stretch goals. We now have, like, there's going to be volcanoes now. There's going to be, like, <laughs> deserts and stuff. There's now going to be a special... Uh, Darwin scenario. <laughs> okay. Based on the, the Darwin's theory. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there's like a plenty of new upgrades like claws, some oversight cards. So if you have evolution, this has already gotten so much free stuff. It, this is like the perfect time to pick it up. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure it sounds cool. And I guess if you don't have evolution, you can yeah. still play this by itself. You don't need yeah, to Then you get the standalone. Yeah. And of course, can't wait to get fur coat and fatty tissue. Just be a giant <laughs> fat ball. <laughs> You'll be your dog Cosmo. <laughs> yes, I need short legs added. <laughs> um, so that's from North Star Games. That goes for fifty-five dollars. Uh, at least one of the tiers that, does. That, that is the uh, standalone. That's I the think standalone. It's Twenty or thirty, because I backed it. I mixing up. I, Depending on what you have uh, for the uh, lower or higher cha- for the um, what's it called? Conversion. Conver- kit. Thank you, conversion kit. Uh, next one is a, another kind of a big name, but not in the realm of board games, which is Cyanide and Happiness. is a webcomic you may have seen or heard of. They also do cartoons. They have a new game called a Joking Hazard. Mm-hmm. And this is basically, the idea of the game is, it's kind of like Cards Against Humanity or Apples to Apples. But you're making a comic strip. Right. There's a comic strip on the field. Everybody plays what they think the third panel should be, and the judge decides what they think is the funniest. Plain, simple, that's that's what it is. And all the art looks like the Sign and Happiness comics. Um, so, I don't know. What do you what do you think? I mean, <laughs> if it, I think it'd probably be fun and enjoyable, depending on how weird comic strips can go. What I think is more important and interesting is it's, they're doing something which I saw Exploding Kittens do, in which they have stretch goals that aren't unlocked by money. Mm. The way they're unlocked is they have things like, post 10 pictures with cats, or... I've seen a few things do that before, yeah, yeah. And I think that, and they have a lot, though, and, uh, and uh, Exploding Kittens did. And I think that's actually, especially for these two, work, they work really well with these two because they already have a large community backing them. Right. And I think this is a really great idea, though, because then... You can ha- make so much... It really gets people not to just be like... It's not like, well, I hope it back money. And be like, oh, I can help with this stretch goal. I'm going to take a photo with my dog Cosmo while he's well, wearing a silly hat. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a very smart uh, marketing move because it gets people talking about it. And, and people it who don't know viral. about the game... Yeah. If you just post, look at this Kickstarter, no one cares. But if it's right. a weird video you took... But at the same time, I think it rewards the backers. Like I said, you're not just waiting for someone else to throw mo- more money at it. Right. You could you could take your picture with Harrison and do a fu- your funny little. You're vibe. giving the backers a lot of uh, investment in the. I guess I guess they, well, everybody wants their thing to succeed. But well, it's not even investment. I just mean. I don't know how. Like personally, I wouldn't be that rewarded. <laughs> well, I think maybe not greatly, but to give, it's yeah. to give you something it's to do. It's more interesting. It's more like action. Yeah, because yeah, you got nothing to do. You need yeah. you need some activities in your life. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, th- I think it's. I, I think definitely the sign on happiness saw exploding kittens and said we could do that too. Look how successful <laughs> it was. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Uh, there's nothing groundbreaking in this game, but I did. You know, I have enjoyed sign on happiness. I, I feel like it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's really funny. Sometimes it's not at all. Uh, which will probably be what what's, this game is what, like. What's very important though, what they need to do is release the depressing expansion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, this is a. NSFW adults only game if you didn't know that goes for just $25 I'm surprised by their restraint in calling it joking hazard and not just calling it cyanide and happiness the card game 
<laughs> why, why wouldn't they? What's wrong with cyanide and happiness? Whatever. All right. Uh, there, oh, you didn't know. I didn't know. They're going to make more cyanide and happiness games. Like, there's going to be cyanide and happiness panic. <laughs> <laughs> it all comes back around. The next game is one that I thought looked really cool that I think you like too. It's called Victoriana. I actually didn't see this. So when you show me, I'm like, wait, what's this? It's from. It comes from Games of Foot. And it, the theme, it takes place in the realm of Victorian fiction. Did not see that coming. <laughs> so... All the characters are people like Sherlock Holmes and Dracula and all these other... Uh, Definitely a, a era I really like. Exactly, and it's uh, a cooperative game where you're going around and, and, and you, you all have to, like, there's a, t there's a ticking time and you have to solve a thing before the time runs out. <laughs> I'm doing a terrible job of explaining the game. But I think you're just doing a terrible <laughs> job. I know, really am. So I apologize to the, <laughs> to the wonderful designers of this game. But you'll see the video uh, over on top of us. The art looks really cool. The theme is really cool. Uh, having these characters in one place, I think it looks neat. Uh, that's no, I mean, I, I didn't have a whole great. lot to say about it, but I think it's really fun to to mix all these guys together. I mean, I I know I loved uh, when they it's very sort of similar, but more with the horror and stuff when they did in um, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Okay, when they sort of had you know Frankenstein, right. Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, the Invisible. It's like the Avengers of <laughs> sort of yeah, and I think I, I, and I like it. And plus, anything with Sherlock Holmes always catches my eye. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, that one's going for about 50 bucks. Check that one out. I'll have a link below. The final one, which I think I think is definitely the one from today's episode that I am the most excited about, Yeah, is Zombie Tower 3D. Now, uh, for those who don't know, this actually has been already out in Japan. Right. That's its origin. It's a Japanese but game. But this is the Kickstarter to make it more international. And the idea is there's the board is a 3D tower. So it probably stands about like the eight tall, I think. Right, yeah, some, like yeah. something like <laughs> something. But each, the way it's, but it's divided, so each person has their own section of the tower. So in order to sort of interact with each other, there's holes in the wall, <laughs> so I'd pass you the card. Well, so it's like, the, instead of having a hand of cards that you can't tell each, show each other, you have an entire side of a building that only you can see. Yeah, and, and so you have to say to people, oh, there's zombies on the third floor on my side. You've got to come over, if, in case you didn't can figure it out. The game's about zombies. And yeah, like you were saying, if you want to trade something, you have to actually go through the side of the wall. And just the the creativity of it it's so cool and unlike any other game i've seen besides i mean the only thing i thought of was the attack on titan game that isn't out yet oh i was thinking of the uh, harry potter 3d world <laughs> right back there <laughs> that, or or that that's the other thing <laughs> however i think there's one thing i would like to talk about in the video i don't know if you watched it or i not. did watch it so there's a mechanic apparently it's a very common mechanic for you to do throughout oh, the yeah. game <laughs> You may get a situation where, like, oh, you know that a fire card is coming up. So, like, how can I kill as many fi zombies and get them in one area? You collect survivors, and you can throw a survivor to the zombies. <laughs> yeah. So they collect there, and then the, when the fire flips, they all burn on fire. And die. Yeah, you can use survivors <laughs> as bait. Pretty good. Uh, so I, yeah, your goal is just to escape. I don't think you need to... You no, I think it's, like, you have anyway. to get... Uh, at least you have to get video. certain cards, yeah. and then you have to get to a certain point. Before everything collapses, because I know they... Oh, yeah, and there's cave-ins. So like, you might not be able to get to the third floor and stuff. It's, it's so cool. Like, no, I think it doesn't... Um, it, it gives a, a definitely makes it a zombie game, usually, when we're like, oh, zombie right. game. Right, no, yeah. Like you said, the fact that you're super excited about a theme which you usually shrug over. Yeah, it's this is def like this is one of those games that I look at and I'm like I have to play that game because it's so different and interesting. Yeah, no, I mean it looks it's, so much fun. Looks cool. And there's different boards for if you have 3 or 4 players. No, that's different what layouts. I love. So you can be I love how you have your own section too so you can just be like I know. What's <laughs> happening over there? Yeah, what? I just had you popping over. It ain't good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> Uh, so that looks awesome. Yeah. Look, and those are our Kickstarters. Another another crazy Kickstarter week. I don't know if... No, I mean, there was even some that just popped up right before we started filming. We're like, we don't have room. <laughs>